everyone. I'm uh, Suparna. I'm coming from India, and um, I just wanted to share this with you. Like I have uh, been in India for most part of my life, and constantly we face water scarcity. We don't have 24 into 7 water supply, and maybe you've also heard about some farmer suicides because uh, in arid parts of India, when they uh, the crop fails. So that was my major motivation for do research on virtual water flows and to know whether the water use in India is sustainable or not. How can we solve the problem of constant water scarcity and high, high water use and inefficiency. So I came across a concept called virtual water. As you can see here, this is a very interesting diagram which shows that everything that we use has a water input. But do we recognize it? Do we acknowledge it adequately? So in India, unfortunately, it's not uh, the case. Like whenever we talk about agriculture products, also we only talk about land. So that is the problem. Water is not acknowledged. And a virtual water concept just means the water embodied in goods and services. So I try to assess based on the water footprint data, which comes from uh, uh, an organization called UNESCO IHE. And I try to assess whether we are saving water in India or not. Since I'm in my advanced stage of PhD, I have a bit of analysis here. So if you see the green chart, it's uh, the green bars that shows that there's a lot of water saving by interstate movement of paddy in, this, in India. But there are two years where there has been a water loss. And when we go down into the states of India at the sub-national level, there are a lot of water loss even in these years. So I'll be presenting more on it in the main conference. So after doing the analysis, my final thoughts are that we need to plan production considering water is a major input in the production process and mainstream <coughs> it into the production decisions and we need to produce and consume differently. question how will, um, how do you think the government will sort of respond in its policies towards virtual water flows yeah that's a great question actually I was just reviewing the national water policy of India the recent one so they have talked about water footprints and water savings so it has a huge potential but at the same time there is this project coming up in India which is called the national river linking project which is a major project to connect the rivers and it it's kind of uh, the you know a an alternate to this concept, but it's being criticized a lot, the National River Linking Project. So virtual water has a lot of potential because we need to change something which is man-made here, but in the National River Linking Project, we're changing the nature. We're connecting the rivers without even considering the ecological sustainability of doing those uh, water transfers. So I think it has a huge potential, but very few people know about it. Do you also consider water pollution in your uh, PhD or just the yes. consumption? Yes, thank you. I missed that point. Basically, virtual water looks at all the rainwater, the water used for irrigation, and the gray water, which is the wastewater generated. Mm -hmm. So it does consider pollution. That's why it is a good indicator uh, of you know looking at the entire water sustainability. Not only water use, but the water wastewater generated. I missed that in the presentation. Your last point on the slide is about needing to produce and consume differently. What are the kind of key recommendations you have around that? Is it around sort of efficiency or changing the types of products? Or? Yeah, it's basically efficiency and also changing the production, knowing exactly what is the most suitable crop for an area. Because uh, in India, it's a very different case. If you know the farmers are not very literate, so it's kind of a family practice. Like from history, what they know from their family, they are cultivating that. But with the change in climate and uh, you know changing uh, water availability and land fertility, the adaptation is not so fast. So yeah, so I think it's both. Okay. Thanks for bringing that up. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs>